Hey gamers, welcome back to Ultima Online Alive. Today I am going to do some treasure hunting and I uh, wanted to bring you guys along with me here. First map we've got is going to be 4421, 3458, and that's in Feluca. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and head over to my rune library that uh, I've got saved in my rune book. If you don't have one, you are welcome to go to the uh, actual moon gate and then go to the UO Alive Community Center and you'll be able to do it. So we'll head here and then the red books are going to be where we need to be looking at. So once again, we'll look here. It looks like we've got 4421, 3458. So we'll do first one. And we will just start heading to the location. 4421, 3458. Looks like it might be on the out of here. We'll go up and around. I got this brand new pet last night. Um, it's called the Windrunner, and I tell you what, it, it is awesome. I love this. Went ahead and leveled it up and put some points into it. Got some skill scrolls for it. Um, and I'll go over a guide on how to get this thing yourself in a later video. It, it, it is really worth the effort. It's Alrighty, so we should be pretty close. 4421, All right, so what you're going to do then is you're going to click on the map. Dig for treasure. Let's see. A little bit difficult to see here, unfortunately, but. Go ahead and turn. Just in time. <laughs> so as you can see, the chest is right here. These beginner mobs here will pop out and uh, you have to kind of handle them. Typically, they're not too difficult if you've got a pretty decent pet. what we're going to want to do here is after the last one dies okay you'll want to just go ahead and click your remove trap oh it's locked i'm so sorry you got to unlock it first all right and then I always like to back up here you're going to get hit anyways whenever if, if your lock or if your remove trap fails um, but if you get back, you won't be immediately hit by the monster as well. So just make sure that whenever you are back, um, you heal yourself as soon as the, the lock malfunctions. I hit again. At this point, I'm just kind of letting my pet hit this guy because the longer he's out, the more chances I'm going to have of manipulating that lock or move the trap on it.
And this will be a lot easier once you get your remove trap higher. Um, mine, unfortunately, is sub 40 right now. So, um, obviously, I'm going to fail a lot on the remove trap side of things. We'll just kind of radio silence here until this. There we go. Successfully disarmed the trap. Now, what 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 you're going to run into is all of these monsters have died on top of the treasure chest. So just hit Control Shift, and then you'll want to come down here to All, and then you'll want to click on Treasure Chest. That'll pull everything up right there. So the first thing we're going to notice in this one is I always pick up these bags. This bag is going to be full of gems. This bag will be full of gold. As you can see, I went from 100 to 15K in one bag. So huge amount of gold you can get on these, especially if you can knock them out quickly. And if you're like a crafter, then you're going to see a lot of the things in here you might like as well. Um, kind of bad. Too bad. But you've got other things in here that you can look at as well. Oak boards, you've got shadow ingots, you've got uh, dull copper ingots. A lot of cool stuff, if, especially if you are a crafter. Here, we'll get rid of that. Just get out of the way here for other stuff. Yeah. But yeah, 15k took five minutes. So it's a huge, huge way to make money quickly, especially in the early game. And as you can see, the ogre on that one was actually kind of a difficult one. Uh, just because he does he does hit rather hard. But nothing that's unmanageable. Especially if you can just kind of kite him around in a circle. You will eventually unlock the chest. So that is another option. So let's go ahead and put this one down. And we'll look at this. So this one is Trammel. We'll go ahead and head over there again to the Rune Library. And this time we'll look at Trammel. So we are looking at 1977, 1378. Uh, 1977, 13. So head over here. Right. And you're going to see, um, even if you don't think you're in the right area, um, just click, keep hitting that until you start seeing your guide digging. And then you'll slowly start to see a chest come out of the ground. This time, we're going to try to drag them away a little bit so they're not sitting all over everything. Go to work, Shalu. The Ogre Lords are actually one of the only things that does pretty decent, uh, pretty decent hits on the pet over here. And it looks like this time we got lucky enough to get two of them. Oh, nice. Got ourselves another fire statue. You can never have too many statues for the base.
All right, this time we'll start with lock picking. Okay. Fill him up a little bit. Right. And this one is a warrior supply, so hopefully this one has a little bit different loot in it. Don't really need ingots, <laughs> so... Yeah, remove trap is 31.4, so yeah, it's still real low. So obviously that'll go up as you do these, or... Um, Obviously, you can go and I think you can actually have somebody uh, trap like boxes for you to train on. I just haven't done it. I don't mind doing this because I obviously the uh, XP for the pet and everything else. And while I was leveling, all right, that one was quick. You successfully disarm the trap. Again, that's Control Shift. Pull out the treasure chest. Mana phasing orb. Oh wow, okay. I have no idea. Spell damage increase, hit chance increase, lower man. That's a, that's actually really cool. I don't know what mana phase is. I didn't even know that was a a thing. That's kind of cool. All right, once again, we've got the gold. Now we're up to 33,000. Don't have a whole lot of room for anything else, unfortunately. I'm the world's largest genius and did not put the gold up whenever I was at. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, just make sure I don't get any, any cool. Okay, nothing really interesting. So yeah, guys, literally two treasure chests or two two treasure maps. I'm up to thirty three thousand gold. I got something called a mana phasing orb, which is pretty cool. And realistically, I it didn't take any time at all to take care of so um, again if you are interested in getting some early gold quick this is definitely the way to do it it's not free gold obviously it does take some effort but man it's it's so worthwhile and I actually personally find it really fun um, I guess that was kind of kind of prerogative thing I, I think it's really fun to do these Alrighty guys, well I will see you guys in the next video, and uh, if you want to play some UO Alive with me, please let me know in the comments. I would uh, love to have you join, and if you need that that rune set up for the rune library that I've got, you know as well, and we can for you too. Thanks guys, have a good day.